Yeah, look at that. That's the stacked guy. He's coming for us. He's beyond stacked. I can't fight him, and I don't want to fight him. Alright, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Low Star series. Today we are five score away from three star, so it's about time we hit it. Uh, I converted some arcade coins earlier, so we got 19,000 coins. What are we gonna get? Uh, boom, delicious meal. Boom, expert one. Boom, leather economy. Boom, prote book of protection. Okay, uh, 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 uh. And then we'll just do this. I mean, honestly, my goals by the end of this series is just to finish weaponsmithing, prestige that, and get at least one light apple. So if we ever came back on this account, uh, we'd be able to snowball. By the way, if you guys would want more uh, videos on this account after we're done with the series, let me know. Like, I could fit one in every once in a while. Man, you know, lately, I've been feeling like people have been losing interest in me, my channel, my videos, my Discord, my streams, everything. So you guys can do me a little favor before we get any further into it. You can like the video if you haven't already. It means a lot. And if this video can hit 764 likes, I will eat an egg for breakfast. I know. Crazy goal. <laughs> it's nice that we actually have a use to grab sugarcane now, because before we couldn't make prop books and, well, now we can. I think we're gonna do our usual strat of trying to go nether and making potions and see if we can just kind of uh, do well after that. It's been pretty reliable for us so far. Alright, we're making a boat. I, I just want to get out of, like, the swamp with all the water everywhere. This is the easiest way to do it. Oh, I forgot to turn on a booster. I'm gonna fix that. I don't know why I didn't grab sand already, but... Oh well. Here we are. That should be all we need, so it's uh, time to either head down or dig down. Or just steadily go down until you have nothing left, aka my views lately. But Well, as of when I'm recording this at least, hopefully this series has been doing well so far. Hope you guys have been enjoying it. I've literally been putting in so much time, effort, and energy. I literally wake up and I, I prepare to record, I record, I edit, and by that time it's about the end of the day and that's just all my past few weeks have been so i hope you guys appreciate how much you know effort i've been putting into the the series and these videos for y'all all right well i find a cave <laughs> the issue is it's going up and set it down though hello skeleton goodbye skeleton hello skeleton goodbye skeleton all right here we go we got some gravel we'll get some flint you know we'll get arrows i kind of want to go another but right now we don't even have enough iron to do that so this is a weird game yo what this, tell me that's not perfect, dude. Diamonds, next to gold, and lapis. Like, I don't know if I've ever seen that before, but that means we can actually make our first philosopher's pickaxe. So here's what you do, you know, you got everything crafted, you have uh, lapis blocks, and there you go. Craft an ultimate recipe, there we go. And now we have two uses of fortune too, and we got three from two. Pretty good, pretty helpful. So now we have eight diamonds instead of uh, seven, which we would have had otherwise, which is better, because now we can probably make a chest plate instead of leggings. We're gonna make our armor now, because there was a name near us in a cave, and I, I don't want to just be chilling here and just get backstabbed and die that's uh not really my uh my plan so all right we're gonna mine for a few minutes longer look for a lava pool and then i think just head nether there's not too much more else to do main issue is gold we need to find a decent amount more of that if we go to surface right now we would not even be able to make one gapple which is uh, gonna be very difficult in the context of fighting people if you can't heal at all in uhc i just realized how close we are to zero zero that's a bit worrying. Please be a good spawn, otherwise it kind of ruins the plans again. Okay, we can do it this time. I see nether bricks over there, so there's a fortress, so we're heading that way. Alright, um, I don't really- I have gravel. That's an easy way to get down. Saving ourselves some fall damage, you know. Oh, here's a blaze. Alright, there we go. There's one blaze run. I would prefer three. More is always welcome, but two is the minimum. A magma cream. We could make fire resistance with that, but the thing is, fire weapons are a little bit few and far between. I don't think that's something we really need to worry about. Alright, please spawn two. Yep. Oh, how'd that hit me, man? Eh, it didn't do much damage. Now we got four blaze rods, so we're good. We're heading back to where we came from. Dude, I took such an awkward path. Oh my gosh. Somebody has a dragon sword. That is scary. Especially since if we get in any fight, like, we can't heal right now. We have no healing. That's why we're gonna mine, even after we brew the pots for a bit. All right. We're back. We did not spawn in our portal, which means somebody else had gone nether this game, which is not very shocking, but I'm going to move out a little bit, so I'm not worried I'll immediately be found by somebody, and then we're going to dig down again and go back to mining. I, I truly need better armor and some healing if I want a chance, even with potions. I also didn't have- I didn't grab any glowstone, that's really bad. Seriously, what was I thinking? Why did I not grab glowstone? I have to go back now, otherwise the strat just isn't gonna be as strong as it could be. 
All right, so this way is away from zero zero, so that's where we're going to be going. Oh, the main snowballer died to somebody, so now this Skittle guy is the one to be on the lookout for. All right, so I found this cave. We're just gonna try to head towards Y11 and start shrimp mining and then brew at the same time, and thankfully we'll be able to get some healing going because we've already got some gold. Dude, more gold. That's what I'm talking about. All right, this will be our little base of operations. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. <gasps> we never grabbed nether wart from the... Dude, how did I mess up this rush so badly? I just completely forgot to get nether war. Do I, do I really have to go back, dude? I just can't believe myself right now. I've never went nether to rush potions and forgot two items. I forgot glowstone the first time, I come back, I get prepared, I get in a cave, and then I forget nether war. I can't just give up in a rush because we have nothing else at this point. Jesus, dude, I don't know how that happened. All right, well, here we go again. I'm literally taking, like, the biggest L of the century this game. And it's completely my fault. I've went nether three times total now. Tell me if you've ever seen that before. The answer is probably no, because nobody else could manage to be this stupid, dude. <gasps> no! Can I break blocks outside of the border? No, I can't. I can't get up. Okay, well, there's nether wart. Oh my gosh, and I can't get it because of the border, dude. That's the only nether wart. I choked this so hard. I got an idea, I got an idea. I don't have enough coins. Oh my gosh. Dude, how do I manage to get myself in this kind of a position? I guess I'm just so used to finding blaze spawners after I've already gotten nether wart that I just found the spawner, got the rods, and I was like, all right, that's it, we're done. Oh boy. Dude, look at that, I made a second portal. Oh my god. Well, I guess I don't need any of this stuff, which is painful well i guess it's just bow spam time <laughs> we got nothing else going for us dude oh that's a gamer all right then well i guess we're gonna have to do it to him okay i'm gonna be keep this at bow i don't know what sort he has i think he wants to melee but why would i when i could just take less damage by bowing he had a g head okay sharp three what what kind of a book is that? We get a second G head now. Does this man have any iron ingots? All right, well, we can finally test out our new protection book recipe. Prot two chest. Dude, we're so dead. Like there's a snowballer who is just beyond stacked. And I mean, we got a little bit of like a, a care package pinata there, but I don't know, man. Can't believe I messed up the potion rush that badly, dude. That's just ridiculous. Here's what we're gonna do. We have this book, we have so many levels. Let's just put this on the chest plate and we don't have to worry about it breaking. I doubt we would have to worry about it to begin with, but. Hey, I'm breaking three still pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. You're not wearing a chest plate. What? 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 I swear this is not staged. Just a quick heads up, the three-fourths guy with no chest plate. Apparently that was his first game. Uh <laughs> I I don't I don't know why he decided not to make any form of a chest plate or if he even realized, but yeah, that's pretty funny. What just happened? Where did he come from? Why did he do that? What? Oh, there's our third protection book. Let's just uh, plop it on these boots. I I genuinely have no idea what just happened. Did that guy like not have a chest plate? Did he think he was wearing one? I'm so confused. He just appeared to us. I, I, I mean, I'm full diamond, but I don't think it's gonna matter. This Skittle guy, he's stacked. There's somebody else though at 14. This is a great kill for us. We gotta try to get this. They healed. They were at two. Darn it, dude. Oh, that was a jihad. They're back at 18. I just... Well, we're probably gonna lose this, but I just want to get this kill. He's used so much healing already. Wow. Because this kill is just a little bit closer to three star, obviously. We're gonna head rush him. He's already used so much healing on us anyways. I don't know why he didn't want to initially melee push, because he's already had, like, so many jihads used, you know? He probably could have actually won the engagement that way. Alright, there we are. Dude, I swear, this entire game just looks staged. Like, I don't know what to tell you guys right now. I swear it's not, okay? Like, I had a lot of healing he used on us, unfortunately. Also, it's an infinite jihad game. This The snowballer is going to be beyond stacked, dude. Oh, no. If we can get two kills in deathmatch, that's pretty much a win for us, because that would be three-star for us then. All right, deathmatch is very soon. <laughs> I don't know where this is going to go, dude. We got a lot of arrows and a bit of healing. Maybe we can just bow spam everybody, clean, get a few cleans, and have a chance. <sighs> 
Nobody to our left. Somebody to our right who's at 41. I don't know if I even want to get this stuff at min. Is anybody else going for it? No? Okay, two free gaps. Two, three people over here. That guy, I believe, has a dragon sword. He would be an amazing kill for us. Oh, why? That guy just had confetti. I think he just got the achievement for using a head for the first time. I really didn't want to fight him, but he kind of gave me no choice. I can go make another jihad, I have to. Yeah, look at that. That's the stacked guy. He's coming for us. He's beyond stacked. I can't fight him, and I don't want to fight him. I need the other guy to essentially target him. Otherwise, both neither of us have a chance. Okay, thank god. Let me drop this head and make it into a GN. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it at bow for this entire game if possible. I need to drain both of them heavily to have any form of a chance. I don't know how much healing either of them have. I mean, we're good on healing, but we're not amazing by any means. Ooh, look at those shots, dude. This guy's only a three-star himself. I'm shocked he has all these crafts then, to be honest. You know, fusion, uh, what seems to be hide and or seven league. Thing is, we have so many arrows that if we can just keep this at a bow game and bow them, we can probably drain them of all their healing and potentially even break their armor. They're meleeing. I think the X person's losing this. I don't think they have much more healing, if any, which is bad for us. Can't let him get the head of the other guy anyways. I need that sword though. This is winnable to be honest. I just have to play it smart and keep hitting shots. One's at 11, dude. He's gonna die. No way around it. All right, he healed. Now we run because he has speed. I don't know what I picked up. I picked up the sword. That's the main thing. Sharp three drag now. No idea what his healing is, but I have a feeling that we have more at the moment. Just not as good of armor, but if we keep it up like this, we might be able to break his armor. I would melee him, but he's like t either half or three-fourths prop four. We have zero prop four pieces, and obviously I'm just draining him and coming out on top. Alright, now we'll push a little bit. No, no, I was going to push some melee, but then he gapped. All right, we'll melee a little bit here. Yeah, two hits, two hearts. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. He used a head. All right, he's blocking up. He's uh, getting low on healing. He doesn't want to fight much, and he's learning that he can't do too much against us. The issue is just that armor. I got to keep playing like this, and I got to break that armor. He's going to have replacements. He's going to have backup sets, which is okay. What we just got to do is make sure it's not prop 4. Alright, here's what we do. He's going to push here and that's fine. We can make him take fall damage. And just keep bowing. His boots broke, that's going to be it. Unless he has backups and he notices. He had backups. It's fine though. It's no longer a prop 3 piece, so that's the important part. He's low on healing, we still got so much. Alright, we're going to G-head here because, yeah. There we go! 3 star, boys! That's what I'm talking about. We played it slow, we played it smart, barely had to heal, and it worked. GG. Anyways, I would go again, but somehow the scuffed potion rush managed to win us a game. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I read all my comments and I also reply to all of them. And I'll see you guys in the next one, which is tomorrow. Peace.